Find your competitors on Instagram and reverse engineer them. The first thing you need to do is list out all your competitors. If you don't know who your competitors are, go on Google and type in keywords related to your online store. Find all your competitors on Google and use the similar site research on Google to find online stores that are related to your competitors. Come up with a massive list. Search for them on Instagram. Once you have a great list of competitors, the next step is to look for them on Instagram. Do they have Instagram accounts? If they do, come up with a big list of competitors there as well. Study your competitors' Instagram accounts. Once you have a massive list of direct URLs on Instagram of your competitors, study them very closely. Take note of the quality of their Instagram profile. Pay attention to their content strategy. What kind of content do they keep publishing over and over again? I'm not saying that they're publishing the same exact content, but you can tell that they publish content using the same theme or topics. Take note of these. Most importantly, pay attention to the hashtags they're using. Reverse engineer your competitor's success. At this point, you should be aware that some of your competitor's content gets a lot more love from Instagram than others. This should be your top priority. Figure out which of their content gets the most traction. I am, of course, talking about the number of likes, comments, and other indicators of popularity. Forget about everything else. Once you have listed your competitor's most successful content, spend enough time figuring them out. What should you look for? Pay attention to the hashtags they use. Take note of the kinds of pictures or videos that are most popular. Also, pay attention to the description text for these items. Do you see any similarities? Can you connect the dots? Is there some bigger pattern emerging? After you have studied these elements, pay attention to the profile page of your competitor and also the text embedded in the pictures or the call to action mentioned in the videos. These relate to their sales funnel. Basically, they are mentioning discount codes so people viewing this content can get a discount. They're also promoting the profile page of their website. Look at their sales funnel strategy. How do they use their popular content to get traffic to their site? Next, how do they convert that traffic to their site into paying customers? Do they use discount codes? Do they just dump them directly to their sales page? Is there some sort of special promotion they are holding? Do they dump people into a squeeze page so people can sign up to a mailing list that will notify them of special sales? Be clear on the sales funnel strategy that is most common among your competitors. Please understand that they will not use this model if it doesn't work. The fact that you keep seeing this model in many different forms again and again pretty much tells you everything you need to know about that sales funnel. They wouldn't be promoting it if it didn't work. Learn to connect the dots. At this level, you need to write down extensive notes regarding the three key factors for your success. Your goal is to understand your competitor's content so you can beat them at their own game. You're going to copy their themes. These themes are content themes. These are the things that they talk about consistently, which get a lot of love from their followers. Next, you're going to copy their sales funnel. There's a reason why the vast majority of your competitors have adopted pretty much the same sales funnel. There's no need for you to be a hero. There's no need for you to come up with something completely new. You just need to identify what works and build something similar. You need to build something that will improve on what your competitors have done. Next, you're going to pay attention to their content because you're going to come up with something better so you get a competitive advantage. These are the three strands that you need to put together for you to come out ahead of the competition on Instagram. Otherwise, you're just going to be sharing the same general stuff that they are sharing, and this is not going to help you. Seriously. Why? Well, you're not building a distinctive persona. You're just playing the game to be just another face in the crowd. At the back of their minds, your target audience members are saying to themselves, well, I can get the exact content from this brand's competitors. Why am I here? I'm not getting anything spectacularly different. The key here is to copy the same themes and the same sales funnels, but also to improve on them. In other words, you build on the strength, you leverage the strength of your competitors, but end up doing better than them because you address their weaknesses as well. You're going to be able to do this when you figure out their winning content themes and then come up with your own higher quality content. Second, you figure out their most popular hashtags and you use those hashtags for your own content. Finally, you take note of their most common sales funnels and you optimize your own version so you can get better results. The bottom line here is pretty straightforward. There is no need to reinvent the wheel. Some of your competitors are already successful. 
build on their success. Use reverse engineering to let your competitors do your homework for you. There's absolutely no need for you to start from scratch because, believe me, the trial and error that you have to go through that burns up a tremendous amount of your time, effort, and energy is just simply too expensive. 